Hey guys, this is Introducing Emmy, and uh, I thought of another little tip I could show you guys. Um, so when I'm working on my webcomic, uh, I take the sketches, like the sketch layer, and this is what I'll paint my background on. So what ends up happening is I usually get like these little areas where the sketch is remaining from uh, while I was like painting the background, working on it and everything. And uh, what ends up happening is then when my line art is over top of it, you can still kind of like see little areas where the sketches sort of like peek out from underneath. They're like all over here. There's like a little bit there and uh, some behind his tail and stuff that I've got to work on as well. But um, because these backgrounds have a lot of gradients and like soft shading in them, I can't just like go in there and uh, I mean, I could, it would take a long time though. like you know, going in and selecting every color and being like, woo, 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 and then, you know, woo, 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 and so you get all this hard stuff, and you'd have to go in and, like, shade over that, and it's just a pain in the ass. So, uh, <laughs> what I prefer to do is, um, and not a lot of people do this, I think, um, is you can abuse the filters in Photoshop to kind of get rid of some of this, at least to give you something much easier to work with that doesn't have all this, like, you know, garbage in your background. So, uh, all I did was I took the polygon lasso tool and just selected that area that I want to fix. And then I'm going to go to filter and then, uh, filter gallery. So I already have it set up to do this, but you're going to want to select, let's make sure you can see this, select paint daubs under the artistic filters. Uh, and then you're going to want to set your brush size. You can like mess with this quite a bit. I hope you can still see this. You can mess with this quite a bit, but generally when I'm just trying to get rid of everything, I just set it to max so that it will like completely cover that area. And then I, again, you can uh, mess with a few different options in the drop down menu. They're simple, light rough, dark rough, wide sharp, wide blurry, and sparkle. I tend to do wide blurry if I'm trying to get rid of noise uh, inside, but you can see, look how clean that looks now, okay? And then all you do is hit okay, and there you go. So there's going to be a few little edges here and there that you're still going to have to clean up, but as you can see, it is like much, oops, let me get rid of my text bubble, it's much improved. Okay, so um, in fact, one of my characters might, no, he's not hiding in that area, but still, it, it's a lot better, and you can like go in there and you can just clean that up however you want, and when you put the figures back on, you don't have all the little staticky noise behind them, you know, from your sketch. As you can still see, I still have some other areas I have to go over and everything. In fact, let's just do one more here. Might as well get some work done, huh? <laughs> so, uh, let's see, it's polygonal lasso tool. Now, there's no real reason I'm using this, the polygonal lasso tool to do this. I guess um, I could also go to select modify feather and modify is pretty good. So we've just feathered this area and then now we're going to do same thing again, filter gallery. There, there you go. See, it's all mostly gone and what isn't gone is hidden behind his tail. So you don't have to worry about that. Don't, don't paint what you can't see. <laughs> Saves time. So yeah, uh, and that mostly works in a lot of different areas. You can see I still have a little bit of noise down here, but it's not too visible behind the figure, so I'm probably not going to mess with it, um, to be honest. Let's see if I've got any more up here that I can show. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Well, I got work done <laughs> by showing you this tutorial. Okay, so um, I guess that's all I really wanted to show you, and I hope that will help you out. So remember, go to Filter, Filter Gallery, uh, Paint Daubs, and then move your brush size all the way up. Don't mess with... Uh, let me make sure you can see this. Move your paint size all the way up. Make sure your sharpness is not set at all or else you'll get some like staticky feedback noise on your art and you don't want that. And then uh, you can mess with these, but I recommend wide blurry if you're trying to get rid of uh, noise in your backgrounds or over top of gradient areas and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, me keep messing with all these because they're, they're really interesting. Um, but be careful, some of them look really obvious, but others can help you kind of get through your digital paintings a little bit quicker. Okay, that's all I wanted to show you. Bye!